OK, so OK, we have rational expressions. And now I want to show you how you can put them together by multiplying them together or dividing them. So let's just jump right to an example, because really, it's just like multiplying fractions. You multiply tops, and you multiply bottoms, and, and so forth. So, so let's just look at an example to really illustrate the point. Suppose I want to multiply the following two rational functions, or rational expressions. 5t squared plus 25t all divided by 2. And I want to multiply that by the following expression, 4 all divided by uh, 6t plus 30. OK, well, the trick is you just multiply tops and you multiply bottoms. So in fact, you could write this out in the following way. I could say 5t squared plus 25t all times 4 divided by 2 times 6t plus 30. Now, I made a classic mistake. In fact, I made a classic mistake. Uh, let's see, number, let me think to myself. What number is it? What number is it? It's the uh, subtracting mistake. It's number four, ladies and gentlemen, on our top 10 list of classic mistakes. It's the subtracting mistake. Actually, it doesn't look like a subtracting mistake, but it's basically a distributing thing. That when you want to multiply this through, you have to actually Remember to distribute, to distribute. So I call it the, the subtracting mistake. It's usually with a negative sign there. But it's OK. It's the same thing. In this case, it's, it's 2 times 6t plus 30. It's not just 2 times 6t plus 30. You've got to remember to spread that negativity. In this case, the negativity happens to be 2. OK, so be it. Anyway, I put parentheses around there to show that I'm multiplying 2 by all that, not just that. OK, well, now I can do some cancellation here. For example, this 2 can cancel with that 4 because they're factors now. I'm left with a 2 here. Anything else can I do? Well, I don't know, but I can factor some common stuff out of here and factor some common stuff out of here. So let's simplify this. This it looks like I can factor out a 5t. So I factor out the common factor of 5t. I'm left with just a t here plus and a 5 here. You can distribute and see I have a 25, I'm sorry, I have a 5t squared plus 25t. On the bottom, it looks like I can easily factor out a 6. If I factor out a 6, I'm left with just a t plus 5. Oh, look at that. There's more cancellation. We can cancel this with this. And I'd see that this just equals. Look how complicated this whole product looks so awful on the onset. But now it just equals 5t over 6. Again, whoops. Let's make sure that we didn't make a mistake. Ah. OK, I made a great mistake. I made a great mistake. It's always good to sort of stop before you give your answer and start plugging it as the answer to look over and see what's going on here. Do you see the mistake I made? In fact, probably you saw it earlier, maybe. And that is, I was writing all this stuff, and I factored this. What, what happened to that, that 2? I canceled the 2 with a 4, and I had extra 2. Whatever happened to that 2? This is the lonely 2. Only the lonely 2. Now, where did that go? Well, it's not here. So I actually was supposed to write a 2 right here. Look at that. This should be 2 times 5 times t. So there should be a 2 here. And now you can do a little more canceling. Because in fact, the 2 and the 6 can cancel. And I'm left with now just 5t over 3. Even better yet, because it's correct. So this is the answer. So I made that mistake on purpose, yeah, right? Um, just to illustrate the point that you have to be careful to make sure everything has been taken care of. OK. Great, 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 great. OK, so multiplication is not a problem. Division, um, a, little more, um, a little more important. Let me just show you, let me remind you how this works. If you have two things, like a over b, and you want to divide it by another fraction, c over d, remember what you do. You invert this. Whoop. Whoops. Whoop. You see, you invert it whoop, and multiply. Bloop. So it would be ad over bc. So remember, when you've got this thing going on here, you invert whoop, and multiply. Okay? In fact, now, sometimes they're going to give it to you like in a complex form like this, right? a complex fraction. But again, remember the trick is you just invert the bottom whoop, and multiply. Right? So it's always an invert and multiply, invert and multiply. You might be asking, by the way, gee, we're always flipping everything. Should we ever flip this? Do you ever flip the top guy? Do you ever flip the guy on the left? Let's see. No, I guess not. There's no flipping of that guy. That guy stays the way it is, but you flip the bottom guy. Flip the bottom. Okay, okay, you got all that. Good. Finally, finally got that joke in. Okay, so let's try a quick example here. 
x squared plus x all over 5, and we're going to divide that by xy plus y. Ooh, ooh, I want to sneak it in so you can see it. Whoop, all over 25. OK, so what do I do? Well, I invert bleep, and multiply. So this is going to equal x squared plus x over 5 times, and now I invert. So I have 25 over xy plus y. And now I multiply like we just discussed, which is I just put everything together like that. And so what I'd see here is x squared plus x. Look how I put parentheses around that, because everything has to hit the 25. And then everything has to hit the 5, so I'm left with this. 5 times xy plus y. Now I can factor a little bit here. I can factor a common factor of an x on top. Let's do that. x times x plus 1, and I've got a 25. And then on the bottom, I can factor out a y, and so I'd have 5y times x plus 1. Oh, neat. The x plus 1's common factor can go away. And what about the 5's? This 5 cancels that 5. I have a 5 on top. I'm going to remember it this time. So I see a 5x all divided by y. And so the quotient of these two rationals turns out to be just 5x divided by y. OK. I think we have time for just one last one. Last one. This one's going to be a little bit more involved. In fact, let me give you a chance to, to try this. This one, I have to admit, though, is not a very friendly one to give to, to someone. But what the heck. So I want you to take. Um, k squared plus 3k plus 2 divided by k squared plus 5k plus 4. <laughs> I want you to divide that by, I can't even fit it on the line, I'll write it over here, divided by k squared plus 5k plus 6, all divided by k squared plus 10k plus 24. Invert and multiply away. And see if you can reduce it to lowest terms.